All right, time number four. This is crazy for a two minute video. All right, I've been looking at Feast of Wine since I learned about it from Dr. Barry. It's a hidden festival, it's in the Bible, it's in the Talmud, it's been known about by the Jews, but not by us. And then it's revealed to us here in the last moments. Um, I think that was Pentecost. I think that's the 2000 year mark when the spirit was poured out. It's also roughly 47 days before uh, the Feast of Trumpets. And 47 is a big number, man. They're using 47 in all kinds of symbolism. For instance, George Floyd was 47. Um, Donald Trump would be elected the 47th character to play president in this storyline. So the riders may go that way. And like I say, if we see the Muslim world rise and the Mahdi rise, which we won't see that because we'll be gone, but if it starts taking that route, man, it could happen quick. I'm talking, let's say just, uh, all right, let's theorize here. Israel goes into Rafa and it makes everybody mad. So everybody just attacks and they overthrow the country. I mean, this is not out of the realm of possibility. This could actually be planned because these people love a phoenix. And I know that people like to separate the two, but the governments really are not separate between these two countries. The USA and Israel are one in many, many, many respects, especially in the intelligence. Um, if you want to do a deep dive down a rabbit hole, look into the history of Hamas. Yeah, or ISIS. So, um, what that would equate to is Israel overthrowing itself. Uh, there's so much stuff people don't realize. Like, um, look into a battleship that was sunk by a certain nation that I was just talking about that belonged to us. I wonder how many Americans know about that. Bet you not that many. But anyway, I'm on my way to a doctor's appointment. Pray for me, wish me luck. And like I say, I don't say any of this stuff as I have authority or I know. These are just my theories from reading and watching and everything I've learned. Um, they're out there to some people because, to be honest with you, most people haven't read the Bible. The most argumentative people in the comments I tend to be the least aware of biblical knowledge. And since the truth community is what drove me this route, you know, this is kind of how it looks like it's going to me. And now, don't get me wrong, I think it could happen at any time. I think eminence is definitely a possibility with this, or it could be an actual appointed feast day. I'm not staunch on either one. The only thing I am staunch on is 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross according to the scriptures and he was buried and he rose from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. And I'm staunch on him coming back. If you believe 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 5, you are free of all your sins, past, present, and future. That doesn't mean you run around the rest of your life worried about sinning. Am I sinning? Am I doing this? Am I doing this? Yes, you give thought to everything you do. Capture every thought. But this is not to make you worry. This is to make you free. Think about these people. They were under 636 laws and then given freedom. That's where we can't connect because we're not under any law except for this maritime law that the U.S. government uses. But what if the U.S. government come to us and said, you're completely free. You can do anything you want. You'd be like, anything? And they'd be like, yeah, anything. From now on? Yeah, from now on. What about that stuff I done? Like? Don't worry about that. But you just caught me. Don't worry about that. Oh. But then as the love grows, the sanctification grows. And that's where the works come in. You start doing works, and you're not even trying to do works. They're just happening. Or I believe a lot of people that are caught in these works are doing the works for the right reasons. They're doing them because they love Jesus, and they want to you know, make him proud. They're not doing it for their salvation. That's where you can't fall into that trap of working for your salvation. 
It's not by works. At least any man should boast. It is by faith alone. In Christ alone. So love, peace, and chicken grease. Until next time.